Uh, greetings, everyone. Uh, we just beat Jordan Motspey uh, 4-3. Uh, we are Liverpool. Uh, someone was writing somewhere that uh, since Jordan uh, Motspey wanted to partner with South African tourism, it has been losing. I, I, I don't know about that. But yes, we beat Jordan Motspey 4-3. What an exciting game. Uh, I love football. I love Liverpool. I love Kaiser Chiefs. I love Highlanders. I'm a Sholani, I'm a Posongani. We're on top of the log uh, with the Highlanders. Uh, let's just deal with a few questions or comments that uh, were posted uh, so that uh, people can get assistance. D. Chikwaha writes Do I need a work experience to apply for critical skills for the first time? It's not really necessary. Uh, work experience. Uh, what what is necessary is that you should have an offer letter from your prospective employer, uh, because you have to indicate which company has employed you. So this is what what is needed. Uh, when when <coughs> you apply for critical skills visa, you don't need um, uh, to prove that you have uh, you have uh, experience. But the company that employs you is the one that uh, might need uh, you to prove that you have experience. So you get an uh, uh, offer letter from your company or the company that wants to employ you, then uh, you can um, uh, you can apply for a critical skills visa. Uh, then, then of course there's someone people always ask what document am I using? Because uh, some men Kanyane says uh, they will visit me in July to check what critical skills visa I have. Well, well. Uh, um, you are welcome, Comrade Samge, Samuel Kanyan. As long as you come with <laughs> with the immigration officials, that's 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 not a a, a problem. Um, uh, there's there's a comrade here uh, who says um, I can't uh, see. Uh, uh, he was the comrade was responding to the video that we did uh, that Zimbabwe is not a failed state. Um, uh, so the comrade then says, um, when, as Van Punungwe says, when you look at the table of best Asaka, you can actually see that the Zimbabwe state is in a far much better condition than the South African state. Uh, again, uh, uh, comrade Van Punungwe, uh, you are talking of someone who said to be a billionaire uh, uh, in prison. Uh, I saw, I was reading somewhere that uh, uh, they took <coughs> or repossessed the assets of uh, Besta to the tune of about 3 billion rands. Uh, so you are talking of someone <coughs> that uh, uh, is not <laughs> part of us, that is the working class. Um, uh, is a, is a, a rich guy, so to speak, was running businesses in prison. As we have said, that the state represents uh, the class I mean, the state advances the interest of the class that it represents, and the pastor falls into that class. Even though he was in prison, he was able to run his businesses because he belongs to the class uh, uh, whose interest is taken care of by, by, by the, the state because the state represents the class, um, advances the interest of the class that, that uh, it represents. Um, um, then, then, then there was a comrade who was asking about the proof of payment when you are paying online. What is the proof of payment? Because the comrade says he wants to book with this week. Uh, the only proof that you get is the uh, appointment letter because you cannot get an appointment letter without a, a, any proof a, a, of payment because uh, that's, that's, that's what you get. Once you get an appointment letter, because you apply. Uh, you pay, then you get an appointment letter which you present at the VFS. <coughs> Excuse me. Then, then someone says, is the Aliza, says, Hi, Mr. Mapen, I did pay on the 14th of March, but my mind still not allocated. So am I so worried what is going to happen? Please visit the VFS. Uh, they, they will be able to assist you. If, if a uh, you paid uh, over two weeks ago, a month ago, and the money doesn't reflect, please visit VFS. They should be able uh, to assist you. So th th these are 
the, some, some of the questions that uh, we, we wanted to assist you with. Otherwise, have a great uh, long weekend. Still a long weekend. Um, it's Workers' Day tomorrow, May Day. We'll talk about um, what May Day means. Otherwise, please subscribe to this YouTube channel. Uh, like this video and circulate. Goodbye.